We will cover in this workflow the spectral decomposition which is used to study the seismic data at sub-seismic resolution and the attenuation effect caused by hydrocarbons. This method produces a continuous time frequency spectra of the seismic trace. It separates the time series into its amplitudes and frequency components. In this exercise, we will study the paleogeomorphological features by creating and displaying three isofrequency simultaneously with color stacking. We will start by displaying the horizon of interest. Right click on 3D horizon, add color blended, select demo 1 MSF4 and to speed up the process during this exercise, we will constrain the range of inline cross line to 200 for the inline, 650, and cross line 500 to 1000, and OK to apply the change. For the time being, we will just cancel the RGB attribute selection. The horizon appears with four separate attribute layers in the tree. The three lowest, red, green, blue, represent the RGB channels. These attributes can be blended into a single display. Now we will define three different attributes that will be loaded to the RGB channels of the horizon. So we open the 3D attributes from the icon. We select the spectral decomposition as attributes. There are two types of transformation, the FFT Fourier transformation and the CWT continuous wavelet transformation. Depending upon the purpose, one of these algorithms can be selected. FFT is generally used to delineate the stratigraphic structural and formation along an interpreted horizon and CWT is used to delineate hydrocarbon attenuation and thickness changes along an interpreted horizon. We will set the time gate to minus 824 millisecond. The time gate selection is very critical when we are extracting an attribute on an horizon as it represents the interval of investigation. The attributes response in this case will highlight the geological features below and or above the horizon. We have now to find the optimum seismic frequency around the horizon. So we move the attribute set 3D window to the side, right click on the inline from the tree and add default data. In line 425 was added to the scene. We can reduce the Z range of the section to cover only the interval around horizon. So we use the green handle for that and constrain the interval around the uh, horizon. We right click on the deep steered median filter seismic and display amplitude spectrum. We see that there are three main frequency peaks highlighted in the frequency spectrum. We make note of the frequency corresponding to each of the peaks. So we can see that the first one is around 24 hertz the second around 44 and the last frequency around 64 hertz. So we can close now the amplitude spectrum window and go back to the attribute set 3D window. So we create the first set of spectral decomposition with the input deep steered median filter we set the uh, output frequency to 24 Hz with step out 
of four and type in a meaningful attribute name with the parameters that were set and add as a new. In the same manner, we create the two other attributes, middle frequency 44 Hz, and we change the output name accordingly, add as a new, and the last attributes, high frequency 64, and add as a new. Optionally, we can uh, save these new attributes, we'll call it spectral decomposition, okay, and close the attribute set window. Save, close. To speed up any future processing and display of these attributes, it is recommended to save this attribute as horizon data. So we go to processing, create horizon output attribute 3D, select the output, the SD 24 Hertz, OK, and we save it under demo 1, MFS 4, and the output name attribute picked automatically from the input, and we just run. Select 24 frequency and OK. When the process finish, we can close the window and do the same thing for the uh, two other attributes, 44 and 64. And finally, the last attributes, 64 Hertz. Now all the processing are done, so the display and any future calculation using these attributes is much faster using the horizon data than calculating on the fly. We can close the window. Now we can display these three new horizon data on demo 1 MFS 4. So we right click on the Z, the last red channel, select attribute horizon data and we select the first SD24 the green channel, select attribute, horizon data, the 44 hertz attributes, and the last blue channel, select attribute, horizon data, and SD 64 hertz. You can remove from the display the inline and zoom in. The three inputs with the three frequency are blended in this display. We can optimize further the display. For example, if we go to the green channel, highlight it, and right click on the color bar and flip the color bar, we can see that there are some channels now that are highlighted more than with the previous color or just go back to the original display. Generally we create RGB with three channels, the red, the green and the blue. A fourth attribute that we see first on the list is called alpha channel and this can optionally be added to highlight structural feature like folds, and fracture. So we are going to define similarity attributes and add it to this fourth layer. For that we open again the attribute set 3D window and select similarity from the list. We keep the time gate as minus 2828 and we change the extension to all direction. We keep the step out to 1-1 one, one, and the output statistic to minimum and we name it minimum similarity, min similarity and add as a new and we close the attribute set 3D window. Then we go to that first channel, right click, select attributes and we select minimum similarity.
We see now that with the minimum similarity display, a large faults have been highlighted in the southeast direction. This concludes the spectral decomposition workflow where we created and displayed three isofrequencies simultaneously with color stacking. This allows us to highlight and study paleogeomorphological features.